Okay. Okay, this is a big old nasty song, huh? Is it? Is it? I think so. It's just oh. like, you make me lose my self-control. Oh, okay. And then just the video, people are like, oh, you know. Okay. I feel like this is one of those hot and heavy kind of things. I feel like that whole know, 80s wrong, club scene was like that. I thought that's what she was talking about with losing her self-control. Yeah. I mean, probably. I think the whole 80s club scene was all hot and heavy. Yeah, I think so. Dang. Okay, so, okay, like, you know the Jeffrey Dahmer documentary just came out? <laughs> so, like, this definitely took me to the club, and I was like, dang, oh. the 80s club. Like, I feel like people probably just, like, popped a pill, like, whatever, but they just went into their zone. Like, they really let their guard down a lot. Mm. And so I feel like this song was, like, the perfect, like, middle of the night song where you're just, like, dancing, having fun, dancing night away. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, modern day, I think people are a lot more, like, just like yeah, guard up a little guarded bit. and just like we're aware of those things because it's been all this kind of crazy situation but i was like dang like we were taught lessons that our parents learned in the 80s exactly like never like, take a drink from someone yeah. like, all that stuff. i'm like this song paired with something is like this song's already a sedative you know what i mean it's already like taking you to yeah. a place so i'm just like Whoa. Okay, the video has me a little confused. Okay. Because the whole song, she kept saying, you take my self-control, you take my self-control. Like, she's talking to one person. Okay. So I was thinking it's about whatever guy she's dating, you know, her lover, just or her side dude, whatever the dude okay. is. You know what I mean? If they're official or not official, it doesn't matter. Her friend with benefits. Okay. But the music video made it seem like she was into night parties. You know what I mean? With a bunch of people, not just one. Oh, like group stuff. Yeah. That's what the oh. music video was about. Maybe because of the Phantom. Maybe that person, that was like Phantom of the Maybe Opera, a guy like, got her into it? Yeah. Maybe she has no self-control. She's just doing whatever he's into. Oh, it could be. That's what, that's what has me confused. The music video is about multiples. The lyrics were about one. What What is it? 
I think it was he, whatever he's into, she's... You think so? You think it's made up for real? Like, you really yeah. think... She's no free okay. will. Okay. You know what I mean? And then, okay, so let's say you think that's what it is. Some guy got her into group stuff. Do you think it's a true story or she's just telling a story from the 80s that's probably a common story, but not necessarily her story? You know what I'm saying? I think she had a boyfriend. A specific person. So you think it's a true story? Yeah. Really? I think she's talking about her experience with a certain person. I mean, it was the 80s, so I mean, it's probably a very normal story to have. Mm -hmm. Or if you just live in Miami or something. Just like a lot of In Miami, there's a lot of group stuff. You even see the listings yeah. on Craigslist and everything. It's crazy. Just like Alanis was breaking into dude's house and sleeping in his bed and, you know, by crying, your shower or whatever she said. Yeah. I you mean, know what I mean, that, I guess that's kind of, nah, that's probably not normal. Like, I don't think that's like, normal to do. And like the pretenders, brass in pocket, you know? She was obsessed. Yeah, but she didn't do anything. That we know of. Look, I feel like this. Women, we have this, like, you know, sort of secret button. You know what I mean? Okay. Somewhere deep, somewhere you gotta, it's a certain recipe you gotta follow to get there. We can't tell you how to get there, but okay. if you press that button, this is what happens. <laughs>